Real estate investor convicted of fraud was sentenced today in a federal court. His sentencing happening as protesters rallied outside of the courthouse. ABC4's Nick McGurk was in court and joins us live with the latest. Nick. Emily, it was a peaceful day with protesters outside, but it did get a little bit wild in court. We had someone pulled out uh, by uh, an official in court uh, for their behavior, and it's all over a Ponzi scheme. Rick Kerber, according to the judge, put together the type of Ponzi scheme that would have made Bernie Madoff proud. That's according to the judge uh, from what we heard today, a Ponzi scheme that netted Kerber some $45 million. Now, cameras were not allowed in court, but it was a dramatic day, as I said, inside and out. Outside, we had Ammon Bundy, who gained fame during an armed standoff at a wildlife refuge in Oregon. Well, he was leading a group of protesters outside, claiming this whole case against Kerber is a conspiracy. Inside, people were lining up to speak as victims, but the judge quickly lost patience since all those who claimed to be victims were called on behalf of the defense, and they actually said they were there to defend Rick Kerber's character. He was honest, straightforward with us. He never told me what I wanted to hear. He told me things that I didn't want to hear. But he was honest. He willingly gave us $12,000 that he was never obligated to give us in an attempt to help us. And I just feel like it was a real travesty. Mary and her husband, they're speaking to us after court. They said they were out $100,000 over this scheme, and yet there was some ambivalence there. A lot of folks uh, speaking to his character, saying he tried to do the right thing, and they certainly did not want him to see the prison time that he was sentenced to today. 170 months, uh, we're told by his team, we heard it many times in court today, they do plan to appeal to the 10th Circuit Court of Appeals. We're live in Salt Lake. I'm Nick McGurk, ABC4 News.